Hello there. My name is Nick Ryder, and today I'm going to teach you an exercise that is going to help you improve both your finger and dexterity and your alternate picking skill. Let's go. Yeah. To begin this exercise, place your first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, which is the bottom one, closest to the floor. Technically, this exercise can be done anywhere on the fingerboard, but for me, it's easier to start on the fifth fret. Okay, now, just to let you know, anytime I say hit the fifth fret, use your first finger. Anytime I say hit the sixth fret, use your second finger. Anytime I say you hit the seventh fret, hit your, use your third finger. And anytime I say hit the eighth fret, you use, yeah, you guess it, your fourth finger. Okay, so I'm going to narrate the whole process one time, and then I'm going to play it slowly. Fifth fret, first string. Sixth fret, first string. Fifth fret, second string. Seventh fret, first string. Sixth fret, second string. Fifth fret, third string. Eighth fret, first string. Seventh fret, second string. Sixth fret, third string. Fifth fret, fourth string. Eighth fret, second string. Seventh fret, third string. Sixth fret, fourth string. Fifth fret, fifth string. 8th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret on the 4th string, 6th um, fret on the 5th string, 5th fret on the 6th string, 8th fret on the 4th string, 7th fret on the 5th string, 6th fret on the 6th string, 8th fret on the 5th string, 7th fret on the 6th string, and lastly, 8th fret on the 6th string. String. This exercise takes a lot of practice to get up to speed, so concentrate on working on it slowly at first and then build up your speed as you improve. It's helpful to imagine the shape and the pattern that you're playing as a diagonal. Here's the same exercise but at a slow pace. is a great technique that helps you play riffs a lot faster. Here's how you do it with this particular exercise. Thanks for watching, and I hope that I taught you something useful today. Thanks, vote for me.